today I'm making a Hawkeye bow that actually turns into a sword. So that's gonna be like, I'm just using this pizza box here. And so, let's see. So first, just, I'm starting off with the katana first. So, let's see, let's angle this. Okay, we put the angle in. It's just, it might be off camera a bit, but it's okay. So, um, how do I attempt this? Um, let's go, okay, let's get a ruler so we can make a straight line. How big, yeah, I think the katana should be this, as big as a ruler. So about 30 centimeters. Then I need to do this like so 15. Yeah, 15 centimeters. Then let's just Oh, it needs to be way longer. Let's just draw that down. Another ruler. Is that good? I don't think that's good. Do all the way across. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. To six. Okay. I think we have it. Now? Can you see that? Yeah, kinda. Let's turn on the light so you can see a little better. Okay, let's turn that on. There. Okay, so now I'm going to do these little designs. It's going to be like this. It's like here to here. Um, that again. Like that. Now we have kind of a design. I'm going to not cut it out just like that. I got my hole puncher slash pencil which lead broke from me hole punching with it. Okay. That was just a hole puncher. Okay. Well it was pen. Okay. This might need to be a little smaller. That's okay. I can just cut it smaller. So let's do this. too good camera because I'm cutting it. It's hard to cut on camera. Okay, it's looking really messy right now. Say my idea. I'm actually gonna keep this big. So this, so how it's gonna work is I'm gonna like make a line across, and it's gonna like somehow like split and like just go open into a bow. And this, and the like katana like part you hold. This is like the katana. This is the handle. Like that, yes, the handle. The handle will be the bow's handle too. It'll just like split open. Yeah, that would be really good if that, if that works. Oh, that would be good. That would be cool. Okay, there. Make that, I mean, just like, 
switches to red so I can get the better outline. Okay, let's cut that out now. They're getting really like this, like all of this extra. Oh, this is, I'll need to fix this all up a lot. I think I'm going to do this after, but I'm, yeah, this is just a lot. Zero to ten, five. Okay, I'm doing five here my middle. and I was just like, I should do this. I didn't really think about how I would do it though. We have the blade here. It's too big. It's too big. It's too big. Yeah, too big. Okay. I need to use some tape there. to black and my silver tape doesn't have enough to do this whole thing so I can't color in silver tape I mean silver not silver right tape got stuck okay around around tape because like I do that then it kind of rips sometimes and that's good because I want it to rip when I do it
so handle handle simple just straight line very thick yeah it's gonna be easy i'll get the handle now pizza box for this so you can do this at your house be helpful because I can put it in here, tape that, and then tape it to the other side. So I'm going to do that. That's going to be way helpfuler than like tape in and ruin the whole group design. in place I'm going to do another to make sure it's really strong. Okay. Now I just tape this on one side. Oh this is gonna be really easy. Simple. I have to do it on this side first because it has to be right here. This is where I have to cut in half. The mechanism has to be like some magnet. I don't, I don't really do fancy like crafts. I just do simple. Like cardboard and tape and paper. I don't really use magnets and um, I have one thing that I use magnets. I did use clay sometimes. Um, but yeah, like, I do more like simple materials. I don't know how I would do this. Oh, I think, ah, uh, wait. There's a really simple way. But we'd have to evolve with me. Going up to the blade and doing that. But that be e it's either going to be really cool or not cool at all. I think that would work. That would work. Okay. To do that. Okay, I think I know. So. Okay, I'm going to do some more cutting. Wait a I'm sitting down. Okay. I just, again, uh, it's hard to record and cut.
there's a cut in the middle of the pizza box to make it fold good. Just hit it right on there. Okay, one more. This is in the way. I think this needs to be way shorter. It's that short. I think I should do this maybe a little later, but somehow making it a different okay. Just take that out for now. I'll use, reuse tape. I don't like wasting tape. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. It's going to be pretty cool anyway. It's going to be switching from this sword over to a bow and arrow. Okay. So first, um, this is like not first. This is like third. Step three, I'll say. Step three is cut it in half. Just grab a pair of scissors and like cut it. In half. So now we have the, this piece and this piece, and like they can match up easily. I want them to be match, matched up. And so, how this is going to work is there's going to be the handle here, then the sword. The sword is going to be ha having a little stick popping through it, and everything else is going to be filled with maybe clay, and I cut a little hole down the side, tape it on maybe both sides, then a little holding there, and then I pull it all the way down to here, and I pull the other side, there will be string on the little things I pull, and then like and it's a bow and arrow. And I would kind of have to hold it like this. That would be kind of good because there would be a tunnel. Well, there wouldn't be a tunnel, but yeah. Then there would be the bow and arrow. So, first. Okay. So it would be like this. Then it just goes down to bow and arrow mode. Okay, first. like that okay. so this would be like this much in and it would have to be tight and then just get a little work okay Our blade. We have it's just complicated. So bow mode. Be easy to do this out. Okay, let's put it in bow mode. Okay, I have some clay here. I think I'm going to use it because I haven't used it in a while. So I don't think I am going to use it anytime soon. But just use a bit. Look at this. See how it works. Kind of play around with it. Make sure it can transform the, the clay. Is, no, it can't. Already with the clay. It doesn't stick to cardboard. Clay doesn't stick to cardboard. I can't use clay. It 
try to put sponsor the of cardboard. It's cardboard. Okay, this is this it is. Okay. It needs to be tighter. Okay. Get this piece out. I can't get the help. It's flying around. Okay, that's done. That's done. Here it's dealt with. Don't have to worry about that. Okay. This isn't, this is like either this or, and then it goes into this, then it falls off. Okay. I am, this is, I haven't tested it at all with this. It would be really helpful with magnets. I have a whole wall of magnets, but I don't want to use that. Hmm, huh, what can I? I don't have rubber bands that you can like attach on. I have remote to switch to. I feel like this will be two parts. First part, this part, just making the bow. Actually making the bow. And then next time I'll do some looking and see how I can transform it. Look at some other videos of different things and see how it works. So I'm going to do two pieces like this. going to be the pieces I talked about that the spring is attached to. Okay. Okay. See these two pieces? I'm going to put it right here. Right at the side. Again, right at the side. So, take the Hopefully this works. Hopefully. It doesn't, well, I haven't made kind of, it's supposed that needs to work yet. Okay. Take the other side of it. Let's do this side.
mode video and katana. Let's just tape these together for now. Tape it on. Just, just for now. Take this tape off later. I just can't. I can't do this. I need, tr I'll find a way before, next time. Want to make this not floppy, and then I attach a string. Yeah, I would hold it like this, grab the string. Okay. So. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you stay tuned for part two. If you want to see that video, like and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when. That comes out so when you so if you do that it'll probably be my next video so I'm going to do some experimenting finding out how how I can make it like fold and stay there because like I had to put tape on the sides so if you like this video like it and yeah.